Morgan PT, the German club continues to explore German culture around the Pittsburgh area. Lights do so much more than illuminate a stage, they can also move an entire room to song. All this and more on today's episode of Wake Up Warriors. Live from Penn Trafford High School, this is Wake Up Warriors. Wake Up Warriors starts now. Good morning, Penn Trafford, and welcome to Wake Up Warriors. Today is Monday, April 4th. I'm TJ. And I'm Phelan. Guten Tag, PT. Did you know that our school is home to a very active German club? Here is some insight on what happens in the club and what you are missing out on. first time that the uh, German club has gone to the Carnegie Museum of Art. Normally every other spring we'd like to go to the Nationality Rooms on Pitt's campus and combine that with our lunch spot of the Hofbräu House. Um, but Pitt's campus is still sort of in a, in a closed down situation for COVID and so I was looking around for other things we could do that are German related. The Carnegie Museum of Art uh, came to mind because they have a number of German pieces and they also have a Gustav Klimt painting. Gustav Klimt is part of our German 3 and our German 4 curriculum so it was a way for us to really connect the um, curriculum into our field trip. German club treasurer Theodore Sweco and vice president Zach Hans give their perspective on the club as a whole and their own experience of the field trip. Pittsburgh is a very culturally German city. It really is. A lot of Germans moved here after the war. It's a lot of Polish influence, so very Eastern European. So it's a good blend of German and uh, Pittsburgh culture. As a senior German club officer, it was phenomenal just to watch all these culturally significant paintings like from uh, Van Gogh or Monet interact and touch our uh, students uh, on an emotional level. They, uh, they led us through the art exhibits of the Carnegie Museum of Art and uh, we took a stop at a few uh, German related paintings and kind of uh, just like looked and interpreted the paintings and we did some activities with them. Um, I think my favorite part was how um, up to interpretation the art really is because you could have one idea about what is going on and it could be totally different to the person next to you or what the artist thinks. But that doesn't mean what you think is right or not. This has been Mason Tossadori reporting for PTTV. Students have just begun the production phase for their articles for issue 8 of The Warrior, meaning they are in process of setting up and collecting interviews. If you are interested in buying a subscription to The Warrior, you can talk to any of the students involved or Mr. Warzidiak. Subscriptions are $2 and come with a lollipop of your choice. Issue 8 is planning to come out April 13th. Congratulations to the cast and crew of Fiddler on the Roof who had their first batch of shows this past weekend. Before Friday's night's opening, elementary schoolers from Trafford, Level Green, and Sunrise got a preview of the show before it was performed to the public. The kids got to learn about several aspects of the show as well, such as learning the tradition arms and how to apply a beard. Senior Lena Yuhas also performed a light show to We Don't Talk About Bruno. Excellent work to all involved! Attention seniors, the yearbook staff needs your photos from elementary, middle school, and high school for the Senior Slideshow, which will be aired on Yearbook Distribution Day. Please send your photos to PTHS Yearbook at PennTraffer.org or at PT Yearbook on Instagram. We talked to Mrs. Thornton to learn more. So the yearbook staff is in the process of gathering photos for the senior slideshow. We need all seniors to send some pictures from their elementary school years, their middle school years, and their high school years. And pictures can be sent to PTHS yearbook at pentrafford.org. You can also send us photos through Instagram at PT yearbook. We need our pictures by May 6th at the latest. We have time to make the slideshow. And groups, group photos are the best. So any time you are in class or sporting event or anything where you're with a, a group of students, um, those are the types of photos that we need. The Leo Club is hosting a school-wide book drive. Here is President Mia Confer to give more details. All right, so this month, the Leo Club is doing a book drive throughout the whole month of April and we will be collecting new or used books and they will be donated to local shelters. And what we're going to do is it's going to be a little competition between the homerooms and the homeroom that donates the most books is going to get a pizza party. 
The job fair is coming up here at Penn Trafford. Here's the event organizer, KK Jean, with more details. All right, so I am speaking to you today about the job and opportunity fair that we have on April 7th. So during fifth period in the gym, there will be about 20 employers, volunteer opportunities for you to sign up um, and get a job for the summer or even look at places that have jobs for later on like Hamel ma Manufacturing. We'll be looking at things for seniors when they graduate. So there'll be a bunch of different um, places. You could just go from place to place, talk to them about possibilities for employment and entertainment. So just leave lunch, come over to the gym. If you have a fifth period study hall, work that out with your fifth period teacher and come down. Attention all art club members. Did you know there are only five more art club meetings after this week? Wow! Please try to make it our, to our regular meeting on Tuesday after school. Let's finish what we started and finish strong. Thank you. Congratulations to the Concert Percussion Ensemble on earning a Scholastic A Concert Percussion Gold Medal at the Three Winners Winter Ensemble Association Championships on Sunday at Kiski Area High School. The, the ensemble scored a 90.90. Attention seniors, are you interested in attending WCCC after high school? Next Friday, you can meet with some of their representatives. We talked to Ms. Sotmeyer to learn more. On Friday, April 8th, WCCC representatives will be coming to Penn Trafford to meet with our current seniors. While they are here, they will go over the application process, building schedules for next fall, answering questions about different programs, financial aid, or if you have questions about your transfer credits you may have received from dole enrollment. In order to participate, please make sure that you complete the Google form that I emailed to you this morning. You will get assigned a time to meet with the representatives for 15 to 20 minutes, one on one so you are free to ask whatever questions you may have. Please get this form completed by the end of this week. Our sports results from Friday and Saturday night. Boys Varsity Baseball beat Ben Hills 5-0. JV Baseball beat Gateway 11-9. But Girls Varsity Softball defeat, defeated Bethel Park 6-2. JV Softball defeated Bethel Park 4-0. And Boys Varsity Lacrosse beat Indiana 16-6. Oh, tonight in sports, home JV Baseball versus Franklin Regional at 4 p.m. Boys Varsity Lacrosse hosts Norwin at 7 p.m. And varsity and away, Varsity Baseball is at Fra Franklin Regional at 4 p.m. And softball at Albert Gallatin at 4 p.m., followed by JV at 5.30. Good luck to our Warriors tonight. Thank you for watching Wake Up Warriors. Please stand for the pledge of the flag. I'm TJ. And I'm Phelan. Have, Have a, a great, great day, PT. PT.